Hello everybody, Linda here, um, sharing my tutorial for Gone Artsy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the flower pot kit um, from Deb's stall and this is um, on sale at the moment. In the kit you get your paper mache flower pot, you get some of the folk art plaid paint and um, this is called patina you get some seam binding three of these lovely um, rose and rhinestone cabochons I've used one already which I will show you some of this lovely floral trim and some of um, this nice rose on rose ribbon on tulle and um, that's what you get with the kit and it is on sale at the moment as I said so please hop on over I'll put all the links at the bottom of the um, when the video goes live right well I will um, make a start on what I'm going to do tonight I'm not going to use this paint I want to, with it being autumn, I'm going to paint the pot using, as a base coat, I'm using this PBO Studio Acrylic and this is um, orange, iridescent orange and then I'm going to give it a coat of the um, Folk Art Plaid um, crackle paint, this is the best crackle paint I've, I've used in a long time. Um, it is just amazing the crackle you can achieve with this with just one coat and then I'm going to go over it then with the PBO Studio Acrylics in um, copper I've cut out a piece of Oasis which I'm going to pop in the uh, bottom once it's painted and um, we're going to make flowers I'm going to make it into a traditional flower pot so I'll make a start and um, just put some paint this um, studio if you've never used this paint before it is lovely really is nice and I just thought um, have a nice iridescent feel to it so I'm just going to give it a quick coat of paint underneath and it dries really quickly as well with it being acrylic um, it dries very quick and it just won't take long to dry either but I've got my heat, gu heat gun as well so that will um, speed it up a bit and then wh wh while it's drying I'll uh, show you how to make your, flou make your flowers to go into the oasis Uh, has anybody got any questions? So as you can see it goes on really nice and I'm not sure if you can see, yes you can just see the shimmer uh, I've had um, a rather busy day today getting everything come off to um, Sudbury on Monday for a couple of days so I'm trying to get everything all sorted work wise and home wise making sure I do the lid as well at the top of the rim I'm not done the bottom because otherwise I'll never get it to stand, stand up and then just paint you can paint inside it and I think I will just give it a, um, once that's dry, I'll give that a quick blast with the, my heat to heat gun. I always get, can you see the shine? It really, it does look really nice. And I think that is about dry. So 
while that's dry I will and I've still got enough paint I'm just going to paint the top half of it don't need to paint right the way down the bottom because the oasis will be in in there so I'm not going to crackle the inside of the pot but I, I, I don't want the um, paper mache showing I'm just put enough out I think that's it and I think I might go over that again with them um, with the copper I'll see how that dries so there we are that's the pot dry I'm just seeing a space that I've missed so I'll just give that a quick dry with the heat gun The next coat, I'm going to give it a coat of um, the crackle medium. And all I'm doing is just try not to, when you add your crackle medium, try not to go over what you've already painted. So that's, you can see it's wet on the side, so that's still wet. So I'll just get, um, get this. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, because you just it, it you you want a nice crackle effect. At least if you go over it. that's right so that's that done and I'll give that a blast with the heat gun the way the lighting is you can just see where it's it's uh, wet I want to speed this process up um, because while the crack, once I've given it the next coat, I want to leave it to dry naturally as much as I can um, uh, while I make the flowers. I think that's about dry now. Gets hot. Yeah, that's dry now. So I'll use another brush and I'm going to use the copper. And just paint over it. Can you say I'm trying not to go out of um, out of view of my since I uh, redone my craft room or studio it's um, I've got a better setup now for my classes with my camera 
There we are. Right, let's do this now. know some of you are watching are you on chat or are you watching on social stream I think I might have So that's the pot covered now. So I'm going to leave that to dry. I don't need that bit. So I'll mess up, clean up my mess, and I'm going to show you now how to make some flowers to pit, put into your flower pot. And I've used. The, um, the cream and the dusky pink with the rose and rhinestone cabochons and the feathers and green seam binding up the, um, the wire, the florist wire and that's what I've done. So I've that's what I'm going to show you. This one's got the, I'll keep it still. This has got the pink rose and I've made three all together. And three layers of the um, petal lace, the ivory, uh, yes, four petal lace, uh, ribbon. Is it lace? No, it's lace, sorry. And that is GA180 and the feather you get a set of two and that's GA202 as I say everything thank you um, as I say everything all the um, GA numbers from Gun Artsy shop that I've used will be added to the to the video but and um, to beneath the video when it goes uh, live and so I've made three so I'll just put them to one side and I'll show you how to make your flower fold your florist wire in half and twist it round just to make it in half and then I get halfway up I will add some glue just so you can see and then just wrap your seam binding all the way up to the top has anybody got any questions
I've left it the loop at the top as that help that uh, helps for the gluing of the um, the flower to the top of and then just add a bit more hot glue and just there we go and just chop that off so that's one and then we'll do another one I knew this florist wire had come in handy I've had it for about 12 months So there we are, I'll leave a loop at the top and then just wrap it round or you, the flowers are dusky pink and cream the dusky pink and cream the flowers and they are the ivory ones are GA180 and the dusky pink is GA107 so again just strap in your add a little bit of uh, glue to your, your florist wire wrap it round anybody else got any questions just really quick and easy to do so there we are I think there was about two yards of the I had two yards of the green seam binding didn't cut that one very well So that's ready for my next two flowers and I'll start and put my flowers together right okay there we are so what I've done as you can see the the fla uh, the flowers actually come attached with tool so I've cut them out cut the tool away just so I've got the flower flower heads it doesn't take very long you just cut them round there we are that's one of them so I've got, I've got two flowers to make I did make three of them because I thought there's now on one of them I take one of the petals off and this I will use my needle and thread I'll join these and on you've got 
like a little stem coming down the stitching I'm just going to join them up just to gather them together not a very good so is seamstress at, at all I actually got my uh, sewing machine out today to do make a a card and I remember how to use it as well which was <laughs> surprising because anybody who knows me knows I cannot sew for toffee you can sew a button and sew a hem well, if I ha you asked me to make something there would be no, no way so I've done that so I've joined them together And then what I'll do, I will then got a cream flower. And then I'm going to offset the pink one over it. Can you say? And then I'll just pop that on there. And then I'll join them together then. So can you see? And then in the centre of that, you'll I can put my little cabochon. So I'll do that. Right, so now this is um, a feather, but to me it looked like a leaf. And this is what's this called? Hmm. Oh, yeah, a ribbon. Uh, no, this not a uh, feather applique, and you get a set, a set of two, and they're GA202. So just put some heat. Pop your feather, your feather on, and then pop your flower on. Be careful when using your your glue gun; they do get very, very hot. Ow! And then just pop your your cabochon on the the centre. And there you have your flower. Thank you. Just mix it pop and with the um, rhinestones on the cabochon, just look, it gives it that little bit of bling. So that's three of them. Right, let's see if this part, I've got another one to make but I can do that later. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to heat, make sure this is dry and it has crackled but I just want to make sure I'm not sure whether you can see the crackle. Can you see? I should have used a different. Hold on, let me just turn that around. Can you see the crackle? You can just see it there, the crackle there. So I'm just going to speed it up a bit. It does crackle really, really well. If 
the rim looks fabulous what I'll do is um, tomorrow I'll take some photographs of it and uh, you'll be able to see so that's that done pick my glue gun up off the floor so I'll just set the So I'm going to pop that in the in the bottom, the oasis, and I will cover that for tonight. And I've got this lovely um it's May Arts ribbon green leaf trim, and I'm going to place that round the rim of the pot. So I can do that. It might be better if I did it. can't see the center sorry can't see the center of what the flower so I'll make a start and Add the leaf. The flower center is the cabochon it's got a, a rose in the center there we are can you see the rose and then it's got the rhinestones round it And I'm just going to work this trim all the way round. I'm only adding glue to the bottom leaf because I want the the top leaf to stand. have movement nearly done now There we go. So 
so there we have the leaf going all the way around the rim of the pot and I've got this lovely uh, butterfly which is GA97 and it, this is the pinks can you see it's got lovely two it's got little rhinestones in the centre and in the centre of the body and then two different tones of pink pearls so I'm going to pop that I can find it at the join there so that go there like that and then from this <coughs> trim which is the little roses which is on tool I've cut out five little roses and I'm going to just dot them round round the pot just for added interest might use all five or might not not decided yet see how they go I like to work in odd numbers or five there we go so there's the butterfly and I've just added the white ribbon roses taken from the the um, trim so that's there and now it's just a case then of just adding your flowers I will decorate the inside of the Just bear with me a minute while I find my pliers, my cutters. You can have them at different lengths as well. That one doesn't want to be cut. I'm going to add so I'm not sure if you can see I'm going to fill the inside of it with um, some and add some leaf, uh, feathers and other leaves just to or because it's autumn I can add some you can't see not very good is it can't see very well but once I've finished it all I just wanted to really show you the 
flower pot and what you got with it and how to make these flowers using the ribbon flower lace in the two different colours with the cabochons Does anybody get any questions? add feathers in because I've used the feathers you can add your feathers you can't see very well can you you can arrange them Thank you, sweet gypsy. I don't know you've, your first name, but thank you very much. So when I've finished decorating, I will actually put uh, take a couple of photographs. And that is... thought well I can put inside because I don't like the uh, look of the so I'm just going to to finish off I'm just going to add these little flowers inside the pot and you can work them round in strips just to decorate the inside of your pot so it, it doesn't look have it I will finish the other flower for you and I hope you've enjoyed the class and there's the flowers with the feathers and I'll make sure that I get some good photographs of the crackle using the plaid Thank you very much for watching tonight ladies, I hope you've enjoyed yourself and once um, I have recorded this, uh, if you have any questions just leave a message and I'll answer it for you. I hope you uh, enjoyed tonight's class and I'll speak to you again soon. Till next time, bye bye, thank you.